Too many believe that adventure is a constantly beautiful escape into the wild. Catching a big old fish! Yeah, look at that! <laughs> we hate to destroy the illusion, but it's called the wild for a reason. And those swinging around perfect storm style. It is harsh and unforgiving, and more often than not, Are you okay down there? things go wrong. The boat's okay, right? Oh, me? Oh, really, really wrong. How you get in? And here? But adventure is what we live for. And we're hopelessly addicted. <laughs> we are just cruising around these little channels. And but there's a big volcano up ahead. Huge volcano. I'm Joey, <laughs> and this is my wife Kelsey. <laughs> we left our successful careers behind to be pirates. Well, not exactly pirates, but close enough. Arr Meet the pirate ship, the one of a kind, 50-foot sailboat we rescued and renovated. What is in there? The dream? Sail over 2,000 miles from San Diego to Nicaragua. Arrive alive, start a business in a developing country, and offer others the sailing adventure of a lifetime in a country we love. Simple, right? Nothing worthwhile ever is. Previously on Jive. I have two new guys. They're young, hungry, adventurous sailors. They work up in Santa Barbara. They took Kelsey and I out on the water. It's Monday about 4 o'clock and we're still here. I don't have the charts down to uh, part of Mexico. We got it. It's all taken care of now. Sailing to Nicaragua has been our topic of discussion for nearly a year. And the moment has finally arrived. How does it feel? Do something crazy. Woo! <laughs> well, we made it out of the slip. I mean, we're not out of the harbor yet, but. That moment when we pulled out and knowing we're not going to come back and knowing we're done at that slip and this boat's been in that slip for 20 years plus years and it's not going back that's uh no oh, it's hard to even put into words Woo! That's so we got this guy. i've been dreaming about this for so 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 long and you know when i first saw the boat i wanted to do something big i wanted to do something really big with it but that said, it was a long ways away from being able to do something really big. It was in rough shape. People thought it was crazy. Um, I thought it was crazy half the time. And no matter how much you say, oh, we'll stay positive, it's a fun lifestyle, it's an adventure, there's times when you're just like, this is crazy, this isn't gonna work. And uh, yeah, and I wondered. And to have these people here because of that dream, have such good people here because of that dream and to be out on the water getting ready, ready to leave the country for kind of the unknown um oh my god it's like such a high i can't even explain it like i'm i'm so ecstatic i spraying champagne on the boat i can't even explain how excited i am right now right now i'm partly terrified uh partly excited The first day of sailing was basically a crash course for Greg and I. The rest of the crew knew what they were doing, but me and Greg, not so much. I never pictured myself sailing to exotic destinations. Let me tell you, uh, it's, it's always been a dream of mine to sail. Sail just across an ocean so far distance. Uh, about, I don't know, four months ago I got a, uh, a Facebook message from my old tennis coach asking me if I wanted to sail to Nicaragua with some one of his buddies, some guy. So I was like, sure, why not? I'll uh, give him my email, give him my phone number, have the guy call me. Maybe three weeks later, I get a call.
call from some random number and uh, answer it. It's Joey Coleman asked me if I want to sail to Nicaragua with them. Well, here I am. I just feel like the sun's different. I feel like the water's different. I feel like the clouds are different. Everything's brand new to me, you know? It's a new experience. My inexperience hit me about 45 minutes into the journey. We're rocking like crazy and we just left. Um, like, I don't know if this is normal. I don't know if this is um, something you see every day or if these are bigger than normal, you know? I just, I don't know anything. And so it makes it even more wild of an experience and trip. All of the exotic transportation I've taken throughout the past didn't prepare me for this. None of it even slightly resembles the feeling of sailing through international waters all alone. Being on a sailboat in the open ocean is just, just seems so wild. We left the San Diego Harbor later than we wanted to, 6 p.m., an hour before sunset, which means our first push will be through the night. And as soon as the sun went down, it hit me. I'm officially seasick. I hated the universe and the universe hated me which made it sort of difficult to celebrate when we crossed the U.S.-Mexico border. They had no trouble celebrating for all of us. All right, right after sundown, we made it. The greatest land on the Baja coast. Our first stretch was nine hours on the water. Since we left late, we arrived in Ensenada, Mexico around 3 a.m. We're about to go through customs, and uh, it's Cinco de Mayo, so it's never a bad day. Got about an hour and a half of sleep last night. A couple of margaritas, I'm ready for customs. I got a little sick last night. Hopefully, seasickness doesn't come back. I got my sea legs. I'm hoping for um, a good next month on the water, sick free. What's your plans for Cinco de Drinco? Oh, uh, you know, Cinco de Drinco is a tough one. You have to, you know, really plan out the day, schedule it is most important. You know, when you're going to get your breaks, when you're going to go hard, when you're going to pace it up. Um, first things first, you know, you really need your team uniform. Getting a big sombrero so big you need to flop it up just to look and see what you're doing. If you have no idea what he just said, you're not alone. Definitely not alone. At all. We never know what he's saying. This is our first immigration stop and the whole process is new to all of us. Which is why we're asking random guys on the dock how to get to the immigration office. Great, gracias. We're in Ensenada right now looking uh, for immigration, trying to um, you know, check in, um, get our visas, all that good stuff. Uh, we left our boat and we're in a dock, and so we're hoping um, it's safe there. The gate's just wide open, so me being um, the worried soul, um, kind of nervous someone could just hop on the boat, take whatever they want. It's our helpful guy. Is that in or? Yeah, this is the, the immigration, this is the port. So, yeah. This is good? Yeah. This is the, the sign, right? Yeah. This is aduana. This is Puto. Seems like we might be in the right area. We went to Customs and Immigration and they kind of said it's Cinco de Mayo. Go have breakfast, maybe get a drink, come back maybe a half hour later. So that's where we're at. First walking around Mexico without visas. Hope that's all right. Breakfast of champions, two tequila shots and a beer. Now we gotta go get checked into customs because uh, we, we still haven't done that. Uh, the second time we showed up, immigration let us check in, but it was more than a little stressful. Very stressful. She basically handed us these slips and was like, don't mess up. Don't mess up. And like if anything is gonna make you mess up, it's an immigration official on the Mexican border just staring into your soul saying, <laughs> Don't mess up. Somehow it all worked out. And by afternoon, we were sharing the local beer and eating ceviche. Eating uh, seafood. All the boys are here. The lady is here. We're having a good time. I usually pride myself on being able to find good local food, hence having a company that focuses on great adventure and great food. But in Ensenada, I failed. Worst ceviche I've ever had distract ourselves from the awful ceviche. 
We put on a hot sauce eating contest. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm just excited for this hot sauce to stop burning. That's what I That's want. That's all I want. That's awesome. I'll give you I'll give you the rest of the pesos if you put a fork of that in your mouth. <laughs> okay, you do it. Just do it. You're on camera. Rehydrate, guys. Three hydrate. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that was good. 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 <laughs> you might die younger because of that, but I'm gonna we live a year longer. I'm crying. <laughs> it hurts so good. So we were just walking down the street and saw a fireworks sign, and we've actually been kind of looking for fireworks. Look at these. But now they're going a little crazy, and they're buying a ton, a ton, a ton of fireworks. Those are fun. It's, it's kind of fun though. I've never bought fireworks. Um, in Mexico before. Because of hurricane season, we can't spend as much time at our stops as we'd like. So after only a day in Ensenada, it's back to the pirate ship. Cabo, wabo, baby. Our next port is Cabo San Lucas. But before we pull in, we'll spend a week solid at sea. This is when the real adventure begins. Next time on Jibe. We uh, had a rough night last night. Well, he had black tooth uh, little bay. The debate right now is whether or not to go to that little village on this island behind us. What? Some call us dreamers, some call us doers, others think we've totally lost it. 